Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy, and welcome to episode number seven of Fusion Fridays. By the end of this video, you'll know how to project sketch geometry onto another sketch, and we'll also take a look at using the intersect tool. At its core, the project sketch feature allows us to recreate sketch geometry with relations to other geometry or features. Let's take a look at how to use the project sketch feature with this whiskey bottle file from day number four. If I wanted to create a cap for this bottle, then I could project this outer lip here onto a new sketch. This will ensure that if I update the original bottle size, the cap size will update accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and select Create Sketch in the toolbar, and then I will click on the top lip of the bottle. Now I'll want to call the Project Sketch feature. The Project feature is located under the Sketch drop-down list, then the Project forward slash include flyout menu. Or you'll see that we can call it with the keyboard shortcut letter P, as this is a feature you will likely use a lot. You'll see in the project dialog box that there are two options to be specified. First, we'll need to select the geometry that needs to be projected to the current sketch. In this case, I'll want to select the outer circle and the inner circle of the bottle. But before I do that, let's take a look at the second option. The second option is the project filters. Specific entities, or the first one here, allows for specific faces and edges to be selected as geometry. You'll see that when I hover over the faces and edges, a red preview will show up. Although sometimes it's hard to see the red lines because of the faces being highlighted on hover. The body selection filter will project the outermost body or silhouette of the shape. If I select that filter and hover over the item, you'll see it's giving me a preview of the outermost rounded rectangle of this whiskey bottle. So for now, I'll use the specified entity selection filter, and I'll simply select the circle here. And you'll see that it projected both the outer and the inner circles, as shown with the purple sketch geometry. Now the purple sketch geometry indicates that it's referencing the model geometry. Now I can hit the keyboard shortcut letter E for extrude and make a cap for this. And for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to fully finish this cap. But let's take a look at what happens when I update the original bottle dimensions. I'll double click on the original sketch in the timeline in order to edit the dimensions. And if I change the dimensions to 1.4 inches, and stop the sketch, you'll see that the cap automatically updated accordingly because our projected sketch references that original feature. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of why using the project sketch feature will not only save you tons of time from having to recreate sketch geometry, but it will also make your models more dynamic. Now let's take a look at the intersect tool. The intersect tool is used to project edges and work geometry that intersect the active sketch plane. This is used a lot and can be extremely helpful when a contour is an organic shape that would be hard to recreate with other sketch features. For the intersect demo, we'll use this sculpted form that I've created. I'll go ahead and activate the intersect tool from the project forward slash include flyout that's located in the sketch dropdown list. Then, you'll see that you have to select a plane to intersect. So I can either use an origin plane, or you can always use a construction plane that you've already created. So I'm just going to select the XY plane, and now you'll see that the intersect dialog box came up. Similar to the project feature, we have the specified entities and the body's selection filters. Therefore, if I just wanted to copy the curve of one of these faces, I could hover over it, and you'll see that red preview line. 
or what's most commonly used with the intersect tool is the body selection filter where I can select the entire body. And you'll see that it gives us a perfect outline of this organic or complicated shape that would be hard to recreate even with something like the spline tool. I'll go ahead and click OK in the intersect dialog box and then hide the sculpted body so you can see the sketch geometry a little bit easier. Now the best part about the intersect tool is that our sketch is driven off of the shape. So just like the project feature, if I were to edit the original model or this organic sculpt form, you'll see that the intersected geometry updates accordingly. So to summarize, you'll want to use the project sketch feature anytime that you are projecting geometry to an active sketch plane and it does not have to be touching the sketch geometry that you're trying to project. And you'll want to use the intersect tool anytime you are trying to recreate sketch geometry that intersects with the current plane or active sketch. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial or Fusion 360 questions in general, then be sure to comment them below. Hit that thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.